Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing you how to build an automatic anti-boat barrier builder. With this machine, it allows you to build a wall that is actually a barrier against boats. So anybody who has a boat that's trying to get to your island, you see the Mushroom Island over there, and they come through a boat and they try to access your island, as soon as their boat goes into this water stream here, it will automatically cause the boat to sink. And this way it's a barrier against anybody who's trying to come to your place using a boat. So I'm using Cubitex Tick Speed Mod, which allows me to slow the entire game down so we can see how this entire contraption is working in slow mode. You can see that the entire contraption is a basic limestone engine, which is moving the contraption in that direction. And there's a couple different components here. So there's the engine, there's also this armor stand, and there's also a piston here that is pulling up the frosted ice. So as the contraption moves forward, the slime block here is able to come forward and actually push this armor stand here. So if you push F3B, we can actually see the entity of the armor stand and its hitbox. And once it comes in contact with the slime block here, it is slid across this frosted ice here. It has moved closer to new water, which allows this armor stand, which is wearing frosted uh, frostwalker boots, to actually turn this water into frosted ice. I did a video about frosted ice and frostwalker boots back when the snapshots came out. A lot of interesting stuff was shown in there. I got a lot of cool feedback as well. And somebody actually showed on Minecraft forums through feedback that they said that you can actually put the frostwalker boots on entities such as armor stands, which allows the slime blocks to actually move the entities and cause them to create frosted ice by themselves. And another thing that somebody said that I missed in the video was to explain how the uh, frost ice gets moved. And if you do try to move frosted ice, it will just update and turn into water. So you cannot actually obtain the frosted ice blocks for very long because you can see right as they get moved by this piston, they automatically turn back into the water form. You can see they also update nearby frosted um, ice blocks as well. Like you see this block here will get updated and that will cause it to turn back into water as well. So the armor stand itself has a level one enchantment for the frost walker. And it can be on any type of boot, it doesn't have to be diamond, so it could be leather as well. This allows it so it only frosts over a smaller area than a level 2. This way it doesn't frost over too much over here, causing uh, the water to update differently. Now once you come over here, you can see that once the area is frosted over, this piston is moved into this redstone block here, which causes the sticky piston to extend for a short while. Then this redstone block is moved all the way by this piston over here. This causes the piston to retract. Now once the piston retracts with the frosted ice in its um, grips there, you can see it automatically causes it to update into a water block. Now this water block will try to flow since it's been updated, and it can't flow in this direction because there is an iron bar over here. So instead, the water will flow over in this direction, and this allows it to make like a little wave effect you can see right there. Once your anti-boat barrier is up, anybody who tries to come to your base via a boat will be able to take their boat up to here, but once they try to take their boat through this water stream here, once their boat is submerged into this water, it will cause their boat to automatically sink. This is something that they change in Minecraft. So any boats that get into a piece of water where the water is coming up over the edge of the boat, it'll cause the boat to just sink all the way down to the water. This way if somebody's trying to hurry rush your base, they will have to dismount their boat and just swim in the rest of the way manually. Now if you do want to have a single opening to actually get through this waterway so that some people that do want to cross, you can have them cross through a small area. You can do this just by putting a lily pad on top of the source block here then come in underneath and actually putting a block at, at the bottom of the lily pad. Then you can just come and remove some of these source blocks here. This way this will make a nice little area for anybody to be able to cross with their boats without having to actually have their boats sink. While messing about with boats, I came across something pretty strange, which is that you can actually place boats underneath water. Now, at first it may seem like you can't place boats underneath water, but if you're actually moving while you're underneath water, and you actually have this random chance to actually be able to place down a boat underneath water, you can see right there, I was able to actually place a boat underneath water. Now, once your player places down the boat, he will automatically click inside of it, and you'll actually be able to ride it. And this allows you to actually ride underneath water for a little bit, then you'll be dismounted. Now, if you try to click back into this boat again, you won't actually be able to click into this boat, which is quite strange. So to build this, it's pretty Simple. You can see the actual slime stone right here. Here's one side and here's the other side. Now to get the armor stand in place, we will want to start with the armor stand over here. We want to have a chest over here and we'll push the armor stand up against that chest. So to do that, we have a piston. Uh, just steal this piston from right here. Put that right there and then power this piston. Now this will cause the armor stand to be up against this chest here. So this way he is partly onto this block here, which allows him to get pushed by this slime stone here. So now we remove this block's here. Now you can see the armor stand will be able to get pushed by the slime block. Now yet the armor stand is far enough away so that when we give him his frost walker and he's pushed along, 
we won't be able to frost ice far enough back to cause uh, problems with this piston here updating because we want the water to stay in a nice little channel like it is over there. Now if you ever want to remove these water sources here, it's pretty simple. You just make one of these simple flying machines, have the machine fly along and remove these water sources. This way you can automatically create that barrier as well as remove that barrier whenever you want to. So one thing to keep in mind with this flying machine is that the entity on it, which is the armor stand, needs to be in entity processing chunks for it to actually make the frosted ice. And once it goes out of entity processing chunks, which is right about here, you can see this is probably a chunk border. So if I press F3 and G, you can see that once the armor stand crossed this border here, it no longer can make frosted ice, even though the flying machine itself could continue on past the two lazy processing chunks. So you see there's two more lazy processing chunks, it was able to fly, but it continued flying without the entity, which was the armor stand. And the entity itself just fell right through the frosted ice, since the frosted ice would melt, and just fell down there. Now, there is a bug with entities actually becoming invisible when they get unloaded like this. So the entity is actually down there and sometimes these entities can actually duplicate. So there might actually be two entities down there but they're visible so you can't see them. Ever since the very first snapshot with the Frostwalker boots, there has been this really weird bug in the game where the Frostwalker boots on any type of entity will actually cause the area to be frosted once the area is reloaded. So if I log out and then I reload the area, you can see that it automatically puts down frosted ice here and that's really strange and this also occurs if you would leave the chunks and then come back again or else if you go through the nether it would cause this entity Frostwalker boots to actually frost the area. For now you can actually operate several of these machines at once. So I can actually have this machine going and I can also turn on this machine over here. Make sure I get that block in front of me there and just have this machine going off at the same time. Now this way you can actually have several of these machines going at the same time. Now if you want to you can also just have the player sit in here. You just have to make sure you have the Frostwalker boots on. So put the Frostwalker boots on. And you don't need that armor stand there. Now you can actually have this perform the exactly the same just by having the player in here. And you don't even need the armor stand. Although this contraption does make barriers against boats or even some nice looking waves for your ocean, I did actually design this for a different reason. And that is why this whole contraption doesn't have observer blocks and it's compatible for 1.10 because our server is in 1.10 and I actually designed this for an upcoming project on our server which actually needed uh, the blocks of the water to actually be raised up one meter. And I will be showing more about that in a later project. So if you found this interesting, show me a like. If you'd like to see more neat contraptions like this, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye-bye.